go. Charlie Virch was magnificent off the line. Got a perfect start away and just kept his foot in around the outside of the Repco loop to take the lead. And from there on in, he never looked back. Morales got in a good battle with Skeets in the 23. And in fact, there were battles all around in little pockets. Mason in a really good battle with Abel. Look at this. Oh, Mason making a really good effort. He but tried. Not quite pulling. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Not quite pulling it off, but Verts in the end got the gap to over a second and cruised to victory, and that's it. Thumbs up from his engineer, and uh, well done to him. And the changeability of it. From the start, Chloe Chambers had a little stutter but got going. And then there was drama. Morales turned around by McClellan. McClellan having to do a drive through, hedge, cutting the hedges almost as he went wide at the elbow, but a fantastic move by Ryan Sheehan at the elbow to take the lead, but then Hedge just reeled him in. Quinn getting sideways, Hedge going forward. Finally, a nice overtake, Callum Hedge, supreme confidence, Sheehan could do nothing about it, but stuck with it and stayed there and took second. Chloe Chambers and McClellan fought it out. Chloe doing a bit of grass tracking herself, and Wurtz, quite happy, the Austrian, he knows what weather, wet weather's all about. But no one could stop the Tony Quinn Foundation sponsored Callum Hedge as he takes victory, yet another one, and moves closer to the sharp end. But let's take a look now at the highlights of the feature race, race three. And yes, it was a muscle fest for sure, because muscling off the line was the man of the moment, Charlie Wurtz. And that was a brilliant start. Callum Hedge had to settle for second, could do nothing about it. A lock up from Bree made that left front not so much fun. Penrose came in and got out, but he had gear problems. And Mason and Abel, first of all, battling with each other. But Mason got away. And once he did, he started to catch up with Skeets, putting in faster slap after faster slap. Wurtz just kept it constant. Typically Austrian, typically metronomic in his approach. And Hedge, try as he might, just couldn't get any closer and had to settle for second. Morales going out in the closing stages. Luckily, we didn't have a safety car and that allowed Charlie to go all the way. Another brilliant win by the young Austrian, just 17 years of age. What might he do in the coming? The Super Sprint Motorsport New Zealand Championship comes to fielding at the Manfield Circuit, Chris Amon, January 27 to 29. Headlined by the Castrol Toyota Formula Regional Oceania Championship in one of its best seasons ever. Get your ticks at supersprint.co.nz. A summer of racing doesn't get any better than this.